Well, having a baby is a happy occasion, but let's be honest, there's some stress involved as well as you prepare for the addition to your family. Baby showers help you prepare for the new arrival and the gifts help ease some of that stress for mom. But our sponsor, the Detroit Medical Center, wants to share their own gifts today that can help expecting mothers as they look forward to their delivery. Now joining us is Dr. Samara Gibson, an OBGYN with the DMC. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having it me. It is great to have you. So this is great information for anyone who is pregnant or may know someone who is expecting because as you get ready for a new arrival, you often think about things like the nursery, I want to buy cute clothes for your baby, mm -hmm. baby shower, and something else important to consider is a high risk pregnancy. So what types of things could lead to that? Some of the factors that could put a mother in a high risk category include pre-existing conditions like diabetes, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, asthma, even bleeding disorders, the age of pregnancy mm -hmm. for the mom, so our women over 35 and our even young mothers as well, mm -hmm. women who are carrying multiple pregnancies, women who have had a history of preterm labor, a history of recurrent miscarriages, mm -hmm. and even there are problems that could arise with the mom and the babies themselves during the pregnancy that could put you in a high risk category too. Okay, so you gotta know where you stand Definitely. with all of this, right? So mm -hmm. let's check out our first baby shower gift. We are all loving these bags, <laughs> everybody in here. So what we have in here are some pacifiers, or passies, and a cute blanket. Now these are gifts that we are all known about for comfort and for DMC. Something else that is comforting is having the right hospital so you're prepared for a high risk pregnancy. What should moms look for? Ask about the hospital's capabilities to provide specialized and advanced care for moms for high-risk pregnancies during labor and even before labor. Ask about maternal fetal medicine physicians. These are OB docs that are specifically trained in high-risk pregnancies. Very important to have. Ask about clinical coordinators, teams, nurse navigators. These are people who can help you get an appointment scheduled, get procedures scheduled, and even help you get the medications you need. Also an important thing is to ask about the actual birthing unit. Mm. Is there a specific birthing unit that can handle high-risk pregnancies? They have specialized nurses, clinical coordinators, people who are there offering 24-hour critical care for these moms during labor. That's awesome, so know what's available for you. Definitely. Okay, so here's our next gift. Let's get into these. And don't you love these? These are the little <laughs> diapers. And they're always given because it's all about security for those situations. And security is something important for an expectant mother because complications can also arise po during birth, post-birth. Are there specific things that expectant mothers sh should consider? Does a hospital have a NICU? This is the neonatal intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. So NICUs are important because babies that are born before 37 weeks are considered premature. These babies may need help breathing, eating, even regulating their body temperatures. So NICUs are specialized in handling these situations. They're specialized in handling congenital complications that may arise. So it's important that you can get your baby to a NICU as soon as possible when you need these cares. Okay. So. NICU, is it available? If you need it, you're gonna be glad it's there. Definitely. All right, so Doc, let's get to the very last gift. I'm just gonna reach over here. <laughs> Baby bottles, lots of cuteness. And we know that these can help mom in situations, but we, which is also something that DMC also wants to do. How can we expect, help expectant mothers choose a birthing hospital? So DMC birthing centers and the Children's Hospital of Michigan have a team of providers on hand that are ready to receive these mothers and babies. The mm -hmm. DMC Medical Center has maternal fetal medicine physicians. We have a maternal fetal medicine nurse navigator. We also at DMC Sinai and DMC Hustle, we have NICUs. And at DMC Hutzel, we have a maternal special care unit, which is the only one of its kind in the Metro Detroit area. Wow. Yeah, and more so, all of our birthing centers have a seamless integration with the Children's Hospital of Michigan. Okay, now what if that baby happens to need extra care that goes beyond what's provided at a NICU? So it's important that you are at a birthing center that has an affiliation with 
the pediatric hospitals such as Children's Hospital of Michigan. Mm. You know, a lot of times our babies will be in the NICU and they'll stay anywhere from a few days to a few weeks, but sometimes they'll need prolonged care after that, more advanced care. So again, it's important that you go to a birthing center that's affiliated with a pediatric hospital. Okay, you need those connections. That's how you make oh, it definitely. all happen. All right, Dr. <laughs> Gibson, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of this good advice. We appreciate you so much. To learn more about the care that the DMC hospitals and the Children's Hospital of Michigan provides for mothers and babies, visit the dmc.org slash pregnant. Again, that's dmc.org slash pregnant.